Good morning, y'all, and welcome back. And welcome to the RV spot. You guys remember this camper we own that we can't use anymore? Well, we're back at it, and today is a big day. Today, we are moving everything out of the RV, and we're taking it to a storage unit. Welcome to the chaos. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> what are y'all doing, girls? Oh yeah, y'all finding all your toys? I'm finding all their stuffies. <laughs> what is going on in here? We are moving out. Packing up and moving on. Where's Phil? Phil is over with Chris, probably in a good chair across the street. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Caden? Oh, you should look at they're finding all their toys. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. Look at that, we have an extra helper. Yes, thank you, Miss Barb. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Yeah, so if you didn't know, we haven't been staying here since we got back into town. We've been staying with Phil and Lolo because it honestly was just a little depressing being here. When you know your RV's broke and you know you can't move it, it gets a little depressing. So we stayed with Grand Grand and Papa and they graciously welcomed us once again so we haven't been here in a little while and this has been our storage unit yeah this has been our storage unit that has been quite pricey so we're gonna alleviate some of that i think yeah so now we have to take all this stuff and take it to a actual storage unit because <laughs> there's something going on with the rv that's going to happen very soon there is we finally have some options this is like moving out of a college dorm right now has anyone else ever moved with trash bags? I severely underestimated the number of boxes we were going to need. So we're resorting to trash bags. They smell good. <laughs> I know, thanks to Barb and uh, Chris, we got some good smelling trash bags. That's all the good stuff. Don't take that home. <laughs> all the good toys. <laughs> we don't have room. <laughs> all right, so we have our first load. And by first load, we have four vehicles. <laughs> It's so much stuff and so little space. How do we accumulate so much? In our defense, two trucks of this is probably toys and stuffed animals. <laughs> it's amazing, three years of living in an RV, and so far it's only been about an hour. Yeah, it actually goes quick. I'm glad we have some helpers. Come look at how much we have. All right, I haven't seen you packing, so. So that, that's all outside stuff. Okay. It's full. Wow. Come over here. <laughs> toys. <laughs> That's toys. I oh, remember back then. But wait, there's more. There's more. Oh my gosh. But wait. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think's in the back of this? That's our college college dropout. We're coming home, Mom. Sorry. <laughs> we don't like college. <laughs> Look at that. We overloaded that Dodge. Oh, wow. And then we got a new vehicle. We got this 450 loaded down, too. Oh my gosh. Come look at come look at what we did to him. Mr. Chris, come look what he's got to ride with. Oh, uh -oh. front seat. Uh-oh. You excited? Is it an F-350? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you show the kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. He's going to get some looks for sure. And then we have the mom mobile over here. Oh, it's loaded down, too? Yeah, we had no more parking. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. What a crazy, I mean, thankfully this didn't take like all day, like it would. We're not done yet. I know, but we're nearly done. The inside's basically done. All right, so yours is not as bad. Oh, we still have room in here. Yeah, we still have that. All right, I can fill that space. And then, this is as full as it can be. Turns out an Explorer does not have a lot of room when you have yeah. a third seat up. Yeah, and if you overload this, it all comes crashing out whenever you... But yeah, we have a whole bunch of... We still have actually a good spot right there. Yeah, I can I can definitely load you down with that. I've been packing a little more, so... We're literally almost done on the inside. We need you to come do a few of the tall things, and then we're all set. Well, we made it back from round one. We have all four trucks back. It's time to go see how far along Alicia and her mom got with uh, getting things packed back up. How's it going in here? Hey, oh my gosh, we're, I know it doesn't look like it, but we're so close to being done. We have so little left to pack up. Like I've already packed up mattresses. I've already done pretty much everything. We're just waiting on you to haul the heavy things out. How did you pack up the mattress? I have helpers and we put them in our little mattress protector bags because we don't want those valuable items to get destroyed during our move. We have this Brooklyn bed right here, which is our master, and we have two back there in the kids' room. Those two are going to storage. This one is actually going to 
fell in Lolo's house because it's so comfortable. Speaking of RV Master Bear Boogum Bedding, we'd like to thank them for their continued support and sponsoring this video. So what is an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding? Well, let me tell you. RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn Bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus they have a factory in Arizona and ship conveniently to for free anywhere in the United States. They offer different firmness options, heights and dimensions, even RV specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. When we first got our RV and decided to live and travel in it full time, one of the first things we knew we had to do was get rid of that stock mattress. Because who are we kidding? Those stock mattresses that come with these RVs, they're not really a mattress at all. Our research led us to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and we actually purchased it with our own money and we're telling you guys about it for over a year before they decided to reach out and sponsor us. We went with the Signature Hybrid and the RV King because it fits right into our master space and it's the most comfortable bed we've ever slept on, including all the ones we had in our sticks and bricks before traveling full time. And that's why we are moving it right now to our temporary sticks and bricks so we can enjoy the comfort that Brooklyn Bedding offers. When it came time to upgrade our kids' room, it was a no-brainer to go with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding because we know the comfort and the quality they provide. So we decided to rip out the Happy Jack bed system and install a second queen-size bed. We went with the Dream Foam, Essential Memory Foam, and the 8-inch model because it provides our girls with two queen-size beds and it works perfect with the Happy Jack bed system when stowed in the stow position for travel days. We know choosing a mattress can be a tough decision. That's why RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding offers a 120 night sleep trial and they back it up with a 10 year warranty. RVMattress.com delivers your mattress to your door for free anywhere in the United States. Plus it comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. The best part about all this is that Brooklyn Bedding has their own factory in Arizona. That means they're able to use premium materials at a reasonable price with no middleman to bring up the cost. And we're not the only ones who love this brand. RV Mattress' Dream Foam of Century Memory Foam just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award. Good job, RV Mattress. We love our RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and we think you would too. If you're in the market for a new mattress, head over to RVMattress.com. You can check the link in the description below or go to RVMattress.com forward slash paving new paths to get yourself 25% off your new mattress with the code Paving New Paths. Once again, thanks to RVMattress.com for sponsoring this video and their continued support of this channel. Now, let's get back to moving out. So Alicia, how is moving out round two going? It's going good. Well, just... where, look where you're standing. I know, all this free space we were giving Buddy. What were we thinking? This is quality space right here. So where do we stand in here? What's going on in here? Man, we are, we're almost done. Like we're just getting the little things we still have to get mattresses out. That's what's next on the list. We're running out of daylight, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, we've got a washer and dryer to get out, and I think that is gonna wrap us up. I'm hoping. Let's go take a look at the girls' room. Okay. So, we still have those two left, and you may notice all of their furniture, that also has to go outside. Yes. It's, it's all missing, so no more furniture. Yep. Bathroom. Pretty much cleaned out. Yep. How's your master? Master is done, except the washer and dryer and the mattress. Oh We've man. We've even cleaned out under the bed. Like we are, we're in the final stages. You want to see the outside? So exciting, yes. You know, it's gonna be impressive to see how much space there is. I know, there. doesn't everything feel so big now? Like yeah. now that it's getting empty, it's like, whoa, this thing was kind of big. All right, let's go outside and look at, well, the outside. Ready? Ready. Whoa. Whoa, look at all that space. Oh, there's people there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's kind of impressive. So this is staying because that's the, what's it called? The central back. Central so. back. So that doesn't come out and then these come home with us. So good job, babe. What about the front? Oh, look at this. Ah. Oh, wow. You didn't forget any of the stuff up top. Yeah. Awesome. I'm so glad we're almost done. Oh, we gotta get our state map off. We, we should definitely take the state map off. We're gonna take a off. picture of that because I don't think it's gonna come off very good. It'll come off. Well, uh. Here. Well, I just don't think it's savable. Well, then take a picture. It was not savable. No, but we're gonna we're gonna get something. It's not like we don't have a YouTube channel that's just literally shown this map a yeah, hundred times. I I did find something in Barb and uh, Chris's. It's like a little scratch off, little oh. bitty thing, and you can scratch off your states, uh, and it goes on the wall. So I am going to do that for us when when we figure out what's next. Well, you, just, well, you had to take three just in case first you didn't work? Just in case, you never know. Get some verticals and some landscapes. And, you know, in like a month you're gonna be like, why did I take so many pictures of this? <laughs> I know, so should we take it off together, everyone? Should we? Just do it. All right.
Right. Like a Band-Aid. Like a Band-Aid. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Actually a lot more sticky than I thought. It's weird because I felt like it was coming off the whole time. Oh. And obviously it was not trying to come off the whole time. Just oh. the edges were. Oh man, I might try to save it. You can save it. Will you be, oh, you just almost ripped Maine off? New York, I'm sorry, I loved you. I wouldn't pull from the skinny end. Oh, don't, don't rip Florida. I'm just getting the... Hey, pull from Texas to get over there. Yeah, I'm getting the, well, it's very, very hard there. You're gonna pull the wall off. I'll keep my comment to myself. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Who, who's pulled their wall off taking their states <laughs> off? Here we go, 40 and 50. We paved a new path to 40 states. Now. That thing smells very bad. It does. It smells like. You're like, you were gonna let him smell it? Yeah. Y'all smell that? <laughs> I was about to put it up for y'all to smell. Can you smell it at your home? Oh, uh, it's distinct. It, it, it is. It smells like a combination of like rubber cement and, Mothballs. and mold, I think. So <laughs> it's not very pretty on the back, but we did good, I think, for three years of full time living. 40 states. What was your favorite? Oh man. Mine was that one. Wyoming. Wyoming, Montana, Utah, Arizona. This whole area right this. here was pretty awesome. Yeah. There were places here I loved. I liked New York. Both places we went there. I had a good um, time everywhere, but if I had if I had to say the absolute best place I've ever been, right here. Yeah. Cody, Wyoming. Yep, if it didn't snow there and get so cold, I would live there, but um, yeah, all that snow's not for me. But of course, good old Texas is where it's at, baby. You can leave home, but you're always gonna come back to your roots if you're from Texas. That's a fact. All right, enough of this reminiscing. We need to make another run to the storage unit. See you when we get back. Well, after three long trips, what is it? Seven truckloads. Seven truckloads. Seven truckloads. A lot of that was mattress and washer and dryer and things like that though. So lots of big items. This thing looks like a display model now. Look at that. <laughs> There's literally nothing, nothing anywhere. Anywhere. Check out the toy hauler. Look at this. It's never been this way. Echo! It's been a long time since it's been like this. Looks totally different. Crazy how we transformed it. I like what we did with the place a lot better than this. <laughs> Let's go check out the master. All right. We got a good surprise for you in there. So, uh, oh. that's all gone. Yep, all empty in here. This is all empty. And the biggest thing that's empty. <laughs> Boom! No more washer dryer. And that was actually a lot of work for, for Alicia and Kevin. Yeah, uh, let's just say I was not equipped for the job, but we got it done because we were the only two here and it needed to get out of here. So let's let Kevin show you some goodness here in this washer dryer closet. If you're considering getting a washer dryer, maybe don't. Well, I mean, this is also the flexing side. <laughs> hey, I want to plug in my washer dryer to the back wall. Oh, oh wait. Oh wait, the whole wall just came off. Uh-oh, whoopsie. Uh, oh, there's some metal. Oh, oh look at this. We could check our look at the Look at the bolts. Which we got bolts coming out. Look at that bolt right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's probably holding our whole wall up. Oh, my. Look at that. And I bet there's probably supposed to be a few more, and they're probably missing. <laughs> anyway, we're not supposed to be bashing them. Yeah, we're not bashing. Frame we're flexor. <laughs> One last time, I'm going to be a frame flexor. After this, I... I am not prepared to ever flex again. <laughs> so Alicia, would you like to tell them why they just watched a whole video of us cleaning the RV out? Yes, and we did it in quite a speedy fashion. So a lot of you guys reached out to us and said, you are not frame experts, you are not RV experts. You really need to have another conversation with your insurance company to see if there was in fact an accident it maybe didn't involve a car, but maybe there was something that caused your frame to break. So we did reach back out to our insurance company and they told us, sure, we can always reopen a claim. If you go take it and have it inspected and they find that it was an accident that caused this, we'll be happy to pay for the inspection and go from there. So when we originally sent them the information about what was going on with the RV, we actually sent the video that we showed you guys about our frame flexing and what was going on. Well, they used that video to see the damage, but I guess they took it very literally and said there was no accident in the video, so there was no claim. So after having a conversation and getting more context, they said, well, let's go ahead and continue with the plan, 
get it inspected, and we'll go from there. So we went through a long process of trying to find a Texas RV shop that was capable of inspecting a rig of the size. Lots of them don't deal with these big, big rigs. They're kind of like the mid-size reflection, solitudes, things like that. Um, but we finally found a place and they agreed to let us come and get it inspected, let them tear that file line off and look at all the welds. And they said that it would be best if we cleared it out just for the sake of our contents because they don't want anything to come up missing and things might get dusty and exposed to the elements. So we had to get it cleaned out. It's kind of a big deal. They pull the slide out, they pull the floor out. Basically all the front of that looks like a frame of a trailer. It no longer looks like a living quarter. So they said, pull it all out, have it completely empty and we'll go from there. Lucky for them, Grand Design already took a wall down for them. <laughs> Sorry, had to. So we were gonna empty the RV and get it up to the RV shop to have it inspected. And while we were doing that, we were taking our time. We got a phone call this morning. Someone wants to buy the RV as is and they want nothing in it. So either way, whether it goes to get inspected or we ended up selling to this individual, it has to be cleared out. So that brings us with not knowing where the next episode is going to take us. Either it's going to the RV shop to be inspected or maybe there's an individual that's about to buy it from us. Either way, we're gonna take you guys along for the ride and we'll see where this ends up. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. We love you and we'll see you in the next one.